To maintain their own food supplies, some of the richest and most powerful countries in the world are acquiring large tracts of land from some of the very poorest. Olivier de Scooter is a human rights lawyer who has been monitoring these land deals for the United Nations. Arable land suitable for cultivation is becoming a scarce commodity and countries find it more and more difficult to produce enough food to feed their population. So they are now scrambling in a global competition to achieve food security by buying land abroad. International corporations and increasingly governments are leasing some of the last remaining areas of undeveloped farmland in the world. Their aim is to introduce intensive farming methods and export the food back to their home countries. Well, the problem is that in most cases, these deals are not sufficiently well monitored. They are not transparent, and we are not certain that local communities will benefit from these investments. These deals are often controversial and shrouded in secrecy. But according to local media reports, Chinese investors are negotiating land deals throughout Africa, as well as with Kazakhstan, Mexico and Brazil. Saudi Arabian firms have leased farmland in Sudan, and several British investment funds are reported to be raising capital to buy farmland in Angola, Malawi and Ukraine. Most of the target countries for foreign investors are in Africa, some of which already struggle to feed their own people. Well, we see paradoxical situations such as foreign investors producing food in Ethiopia, shipping this food back to the home country or selling it on the international markets, when Ethiopia is still a country which is heavily dependent on international food aid. So this is a country which is at the same time producing food for export markets and depending on international aid in order to feed this population. <laughs> 